This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer, bringing you the week's medium and small business news. This week, we're talking to a fresh face in the world of fashion, Orly Shani Murphy. She's co-founder and president of Tuck and Wes, which reads Cut and Sew Backwards. The company, like its name, is producing a promising new fashion line of reversible, interchangeable cut and sew tees. This young entrepreneur tells IFV that it takes much more than fashion sense to make dollars and cents. It's everyday basics. It's the kind of clothing that you wear underneath everything. You wear it on vacations, you wear it to dinner. You, it's t-shirts, essentially t-shirts and dresses in a really great cotton modal, super soft fabric, but it's all convertible. So we have styles where the sleeves button off. So you go from a tank to a long sleeve to a one sleeve, or we've got them where you know, they've got seams across the waist and the, and the hips so that it goes from a crop top to a tunic to a dress or shirts that just are simple and button up the front and the back so you can open them and wear them like a low v-neck or you can actually take them apart in two and mix colors and styles. Everything is convertible. So we're proud to be produced in New York and everything retailing under 100 but what you're buying, if you're buying a $79 t-shirt, you're getting a lot more. So you're actually getting three or four different outfits and then the couple that you if you buy a few together and then you combine them, you have even that many more ways to wear them because they can be interchanged together, you know? So it's a, it's a convertible collection of, of tops and dresses and it's a, a new take on everyday wear. I tried to be like, we're 18 to 35, but my mom's 50 and my mom loves it and all my mom's friends love it and my mom has already pre-ordered like eight shirts and granted, you know, she's my mom, so obviously she better, but still I just think it, I think it crosses that sort of boundary because it's like cozy wear. It's the stuff that you feel comfortable and everything has buttons so you can make it whatever you want. So I don't know, I think for us more it's, it's just this new woman. It's the woman of the 21st century that needs to go from point A to point B to point C and needs a little bit of function because she can't pack seven outfits. She needs to go from day to night. Like I think it's more the type of woman than the age of woman. I actually don't have a fashion background. I grew up, my mom um, and my grandmother both made all their clothes and my mom taught me growing up and I would take sewing classes um, along with typing classes which was really annoying. Um, and that was kind of the way that it did. I, I used to buy vintage clothing and I would just make it fit me better or I would buy something and I would just make it fit my body better or whatever and that was my only real experience with fashion. And then I started my line, which was I would buy vintage clothing and I would reconstruct it and I would turn it into one of a kind pieces. And I got carried in like some big stores in LA and was selling things for like 500 a piece and turned it into this great business. But it was, I knew because I'm more, I think I'm more of a business person than I am a, um, I'm creative, but I think that's my strong point. I knew it wasn't a business. I knew it was a hobby. I knew I could never grow. I could never sell a thousand units to a store because it was only one. So. That was the main reason that I wanted to start this line, but I think to me what I'm really passionate about is sort of being an entrepreneur, like building something out of nothing. That's what excites me more than sitting there and being like, this is a piece of art and like I love it and it's beautiful and don't criticize it. Like I don't, I'm not particularly um, emotional about what I do. I look at it very realistically. I think I just like being an entrepreneur more than anything else. I really think Tuck and Wes is going to be the new and improved American apparel. Like the, the this is exciting everyday wear clothing that's going to be in every major city that's going to like that's what I truly view it as and if I didn't I don't think I would be able to deal with everyday's obstacles and hiccups like if I just thought I wanted it to be this small business it's like whether you start it small or you start it with big views it takes the same amount of work no matter what whether you want it to be in your hometown or not it still takes that amount of work so it's a lot of work if you don't think it's going to be big. So you just have to really love it and want it so badly that you're willing to deal with the inevitable obstacles and heartbreak and frustration and uncomfortable conversations and never ending work and staying up to four in the morning. Like if you're not willing to do that, it's not, you're not going to make it is would be my, I guess what I would say. You're not going to make it if you're not willing to do that. You just, you have to. That's all for this week from the IFB news team. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check back every day right here at ifenews.com for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.